Hi everybody, my name is Devin Chasnoff. I'm a developer relations engineer supporting the Google Ads API. And today we're going to be doing something fun. We're going to be building a web app that consumes the Google Ads API. Now, what's special about this web app is that it is going to be a multi-tenant web app, meaning from a user perspective, any number of users will be able to authenticate into the application and we'll use the OAuth flow to generate refresh tokens that are tied specifically to the user who's logged in. That way, that user can only access information or manage accounts that they should have the rights to access. Now, I'm going to be building this live, so if I make any mistakes or I do anything wrong, you'll be here along the way to experience that with me. So this should be a lot of fun. I'm excited to do this with you. And uh, I think a lot of the focus on this application will be on the OAuth flow because it can be a little complex and daunting when you're not that familiar with it. But basically we're gonna go from zero to fully functioning web app all right here. And I'll try to go through every step of the process. There are a few things that I'll have done ahead of time and I'll try to note those. This isn't exactly what we'll be building today, but it has many of the components of the app that we will be building today. First we have a one tap sign in and what this will do is log you in in the email address that you're logged into your browser with or it'll prompt you to enter an email address and with that we'll generate a token which we'll use to save a refresh token that we generate in a later step. That way when we want to make API calls we can simply grab the refresh token that's stored securely associated with this particular user who's logged into the account and then make API calls assuming we have our other credentials in place and we'll be on our merry way. Before I jump in, just want to point something out if you've never done this before. If you go to accounts.google.com security, you can actually see which accounts you've given access to. And I haven't granted access to any, so there's nothing showing up here, but I'll show this to you in just a second. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll continue as myself. So this is logging me into the application as a whole. What that's done is granted permissions to some basic profile information via the OAuth flow. However, it has not granted access to manage the Google Ads API on my behalf. So what I'll do is, this that's what this flow is doing. It redirects to this page, and I'll show you how to do all of this, where I sign in, you'll see a warning like this. I'll explain this in a bit, we'll just breeze through it for now. And now when I get to this page, you can see Google Ads API test app would like to be able to manage my AdWords campaigns. And you can see here, it already has access to do some, some other things like associate uh, my information with Google and so on and so forth. So this step, when I hit continue, is going to send a call back to my server application. And that server application will generate a refresh token, save it to the server, and then on my subsequent call, it'll use my profile information to grab that refresh token and make an API call with the Google Ads API. I know that was a lot of information right at the get-go, but we're going to go through this every single step of the way. So bear with me here as we do that. I hit continue. So now if we head on back to this accounts.google.com security page, you'll now see Google Apps with account access. And if I hit manage access, there's my app, Google Ads API test app. And as you can see here, it has permissions to manage my AdWords campaigns and also basic account information here. My app, what it's done now that I'm authenticated, has made a request to the list accessible customers uh, endpoint. And here you can see the customers that my refresh token has access to. And that's an important thing to keep in mind from the very beginning. The refresh token is what dictates the access to given accounts. So when you create that refresh token, you might recall I used a specific email address. That refresh token will be tied to that email address. Now, if that email address has access on the ads account itself, say it's an admin on an ads account, then the refresh token will also have admin access. So we're not going to build exactly this, but this is built on top of what we will be building 
But the basic premise is if you have this foundation in place, you can effectively do anything you want with the API and make any calls you'd like. But you can see here, list our accounts. I can click here using that same refresh token. It's gonna go ahead and grab some account uh, campaign information. I can view my account hierarchy, for example, going into the accounts of this manager account. And I can see the sub accounts associated with that and then view the campaigns of that account and so on and so forth. So you can see how this could all be very useful. It's nice to have the foundation. So one thing I wanna point out from the get-go is that a lot of this, and I've said this already, a lot of this is going to be specifically tied to OAuth. It's kind of a big hurdle in getting started for many folks if you're not familiar, but once you have that in place, then you can get on to developing your application, which in my opinion is a lot more fun. Though I had a lot of fun uh, creating this demo. So with that being said, uh, let's uh, let's shut this down. This is just a, another application that I have running. As I mentioned, we're going to be building this entirely from scratch. So, reload this. No server. And what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and remove access. And now you can see there's no access. <laughs>